to you guys about math, I say it, math is like a tool in your toolbox. The more you can do math, the more you can make responsible decisions and be financially successful and independent in your life. So what I'm showing you today, I want you to take a look. This is called the U.S. Debt Clock, okay? Wow. Now we've been learning about positive and negative integers. So what do you think the green represents in this United States debt clock? Money. Oceana? Positive. Positive. And the red is what? Negative. Negative. So friends, I want you to think about how much the United States currently owes. That's our debt as a country. Okay, we all have a responsibility to pay some of that. In fact, they've even made a ratio from the total debt to the debt per citizen. So like unit rate, how much for one citizen? Let's go ahead and let's try to read the entire, up to the points that aren't moving anymore, United States national debt. Ready everyone? Take a, give me a thumbs up when you think you know what is the place value of this last digit. Okay? Camilla? Trillion. So we're going to start by reading it together. The trillions. Ready, everyone? 